Okay, so in the last lecture, I introduced you to Obolo, and I'm sure you can already see how powerful and exciting that product is, and how you desperately want to get clicking with adding all kinds of products to your site. It makes it so, so easy. But before you dive in big time, uh, I want to just, you know, this is a word of warning, basically. I want you to use it, but I don't want you to forget the golden rules. Now, let me just tell you something. Basically, these products are, they're amazing. You know, it's so easy these days to create an e-commerce store with these tools that are so easy to use. You know, their big advantage is that they are super easy to use. But in some ways, the downfall is also that they are super easy to use. Now, let me just explain. What I'm talking about is that so many people who get into e-commerce, they see how simple it is to set up a store. You've seen that. You've, they've seen how easy it is to go onto a website like AliExpress and pick products and load up their store with hundreds or maybe thousands of products because they believe that's basically all we're doing here is filling up a store with tons and tons of products. And then what they do is they go over to Facebook or whatever and they do some very poor targeted advertising, okay? Uh, and I'm gonna teach you how to do it properly later on. But they do some very poor targeted advertising. They spend a ton of money over there and the whole thing fails. Yeah, the whole thing fails, then they give up, then they go on YouTube and make a, you know, a video about how terrible it all is, and dropshipping doesn't work, and Shopify doesn't work, and this doesn't work, and you know, all this kind of stuff. The fault has got nothing to do with the system. It's just the fault with them. Now this course is all about doing it properly. Yeah? I'm giving you a ton of experience here, as well as a course itself. And, you know, please, please, please take my advice on board. Now, the way you can avoid that sort of disaster scenario that I just spelled out is to, first of all, think about the golden rules that I gave you. So let's go back to that slide quickly to remind ourselves. So here we go. This was the slide, deciding what to sell. These are the kind of what I call my golden rules throughout this course. So there was the price point and what we're going to sell it at. Is it not too heavy? Is it not too fragile? Are there good quality images? Are you avoiding branded products? Can't be found at Walmart? Does it solve a problem or cater to a passion? And has that supplier ticked the various boxes that we need? Now, all these are simple rules, but when you dive into something like Obolo, it's so easy just to click on products and forget about all this kind of stuff. So please, when you're using Obolo, you know, write these down or print this slide out or whatever you need to do and keep it to one side, keep it next to you so that every time you look at that product, those products, you think to yourself, do they fit these particular um, golden rules? Yeah, it's going to help you massively. Please don't forget that. At the same time, also, do not just load up hundreds and hundreds of products. In fact, if you're sifting through carefully and going through these golden rules, you know, it'll take you a long time to do that. It's not just click, 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 click like that all the time, yeah? Think about each one. I'm talking about maybe adding 10 or 20 products max at this stage, absolute max, yeah? Particularly when you're just starting out. There's no need to go any more than that. You see how easy it is to come back and add more stuff if you want to, but there really is no need. Now, I'm gonna go back into Obolo right now because there's a couple more things I wanna say to you before you start really getting into it. So what am I talking about? Well, I'm talking about the fact that Obolo takes absolutely everything from Ali, as you have seen. Now that creates a problem, which many people ignore, all right? And I can demonstrate that very, very quickly. So here we are on this dog pendant. Now, I taught you to come up with succinct product names, yeah? Punchy product names. Now, the proposal here is dog paw, small pendant, clavicle necklace, woman girl necklace, jewelry statement, pendant, charm, chain, choker, etc., etc. I mean, it's crazy, right? Now, it seems obvious that you would change that, but you'd be amazed at how many people just simply click on push to shop and be done with it, and their shop looks rubbish. And it makes me so sad because they spent so much time building the shop and then have put no thought together when it actually comes to using Oblo to actually bring the products in. Let's also then have a look at the description in the same vein. You know, we talked about selling the benefits, not the features. Well, here again, we have a whole load of meaningless stuff from Ali. So you'd want to basically update all of this in the way I taught you with the question and then the bullet points. Now let's go to variants. 
Now here it's pulled in four variants in fact, but you can actually see really there are only two. And the difference is because there's some sort of skew here. This is the stock keeping unit. And from Oblo's point of view, it's done a perfect job, but that's not what you want on your site. You know, basically I need to remove this one and remove this one, okay? And you'll see that a lot, the variants that go on your site will not be exactly as you want them. Let's go to images. Now it's pulled in every single image. And actually, to be honest, this is not bad. But sometimes you will see images that have almost no bearing at all to the product because they just happen to be on the page. So the message here is you need to go through each of these things, the product, description, the variants, and the images. Make sure that it all looks good before you finally push it to the shop. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to tidy this up and I'm going to show you exactly what I've done in a sec. Okay, so let's see what I've done. Well, I've just changed the title to Dog Paw Pendant with Necklace and I put it into my Necklaces Collections. For the description, I've taken all that rubbish out and I've said, is there a better way to show your love of dogs? Then some bullet points and then I put in my limited availability that we talked about as well. For my variants, I did what I said before where I basically checked off one of the gold and one of the silver and I set the prices here. So I got a full price of $25 and a sale price of $19.99 and I kept that the same for both those variants. And for the images, in fact, I didn't touch anything. I just kept them all like that. I'm pretty happy with as it is. Now, I had to change quite a bit on that one and it will vary with each product. Sometimes you'll hardly need to change anything. Other times you'll need to change an awful lot. But the message is you will always need to do something. So don't just blindly click on push to shop. I think you've probably got that message uh, by now. But I am now happy with this. So I am gonna click on push to shop. Okay, you see it's now disappeared from the list. And what it does is it puts it into my products here. So if I click on this, you'll see the dog paw pendant there, of course. And if I return to my admin system, you'll see it's been immediately added to my product list. Now I do a final check by going into the actual product itself and give it the once over. So the title is good. The description is exactly as I put it in. It's gone into the right collection. The images are the ones I selected and the variants are all good. Or are they? Because actually I made a mistake on purpose back on Oblo because I want to make you really acutely aware of things that can go wrong. Because what we have for the variants is gold, silver and China. So, you know, I wasn't paying attention, let's say, back then. And it's picked up China because it has this ships from thing here. Now we can edit this. It's very, very straightforward. All I have to do is click on edit options. And then here where I've got the metal colours as the variations and the ships from as China, Let's just take that out and click on save. And now it looks how I want it to look. Okay, so all looking very good. So let's just do a final check and make sure it all looks good on the site by clicking on view. And there we have it. The images, everything we talked about, the metal color I can change. It's on sale at $19.99 and everything looks great. So I really hope you enjoyed that tour of Oblo and I really hope you've taken on board those tips I've given you. So the message is clear, I hope. It's an amazing product. Definitely use it, but use with caution.